here from Dance Moms. Welcome back to my channel. Did you see part one with Sam and Tegan Ripka? The Ripka twins. See, it's on the socks. <laughs> Who has awesome. better feet? We should look at that. Mm. Yeah, that should be around. No, it should You won. <laughs> <laughs> see, you already said it. You already said she won. All right, now, the girls did five rounds. Tegan is on top of the leaderboard. She has two more points than Sam does, which is odd because when this whole competition started, Sam was like, bam, bam, bam. Yeah. She was killing it. And then, you know, went down here. <laughs> well, this one started with the bonus rounds. So that's where you yeah. failed miserably. <laughs> All right, so now here we go. Next challenge. Come on, girls, get out on that dance floor. Let's see it. All right, now we're going to do a trick into a balance. It can be any trick into any balance. Now, what's unique about this is you're coming off of something, a rebound, a movement, and you have to stick it. That's what I'm watching for, who's gonna wiggle, who's gonna wobble, who's gonna fall down. There is so much pressure in this round because, yeah, it's so obvious when you wobble. Like, the audience know you're not meant to wobble. And added pressure, obviously, Abby Lee watching. Literally, and then hearing all the things she's looking for, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so much pressure right now. But we got it. Right? Positive thoughts. Nobody gets a point. No points for Sam, no points for Tegan. I would like to see, this is really hard. This is the most difficult thing, right? I want to see side aerials on both sides. Right and left, or left and right. Your choice, ladies. Sam's going first. You know, Sam did a lot better when she went first. If you watched the last video. When Sam was going first, she had that adrenaline, that drive, she wanted to win. Then as soon as Tegan started to go first, Sam just went. Beautiful. Wow, that was gorgeous. But there's something she didn't do on the second side. I'm gonna let everybody watching figure it out. Put your notes below and tell me what Sam failed to do on the second side. Nice, beautiful. So you did your weaker side first. Smart girl. You always do the bad side first and then recover with the good side. Now, Sam, I thought you had it. I thought it was beautiful. When Tegan does her side aerials, I can tell the bad side and the good side. There was fear in her eyes. But she overcame the fear and she did it. She executed it well. Sam, it was breezy easy. She just did side aerial, side aerial. but the second side aerial, she didn't finish with her arms up. Big no-no in my class. Girls, doing a good side, bad side, or right, left side aerial is amazing. And you had an incredible teacher. And not too many people do that here in the States, but you two did it, except too much preparation. Did you do your good side first or your bad side first? I did my good side first. She did her good side first, and then she did the bad side, and it was fabulous, except she didn't finish with her arms up. And anybody that watches my stuff or takes my class, you know. Side aerial, finish with your arms up because you're usually going right into something else. So I'm gonna say neither one of you. No, oh. no, it's good side, bad side, side aerial. So I'm gonna give the bonus points to both of you. Yes! You're still two points behind, so didn't you? Still two down, but at least Tegan didn't get one and I didn't. It's not about you winning, it's about her not winning. Absolutely. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Let's go. Next round, we're gonna save our backs a little bit, move away from the tricks, and do a turn to combination. she got going nice I want to see her relax her upper body and her arms it's so hard she just shoving herself around just relax into those turns she 
she did a fabulous combination. I loved it until she did the side aerials and the arms weren't up. Oh. Again! Sam, what are you doing? She did second, 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 second to an outside illusion to a side aerial. It was fabulous. And then the simplest part, she doesn't put her arms up. Girls, 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 girls. I like the straddle leap at the end. Uh, I don't know. Then you come out and do turns in second, and I'm like, ooh, thank goodness. Thank goodness she's going to do the turns in second. You whipped out this outside illusion. Fabulous, but you were moving forward. Again, the arms were up. People, what do I tell you? Don't make the same mistake. I just yelled at her the last time about her arms not being up, and she did the same damn thing again. Yeah. So? Seven. Seven. So no points again? No points again. Fair enough. We have a bonus. Are we ready? Yeah. Since they wanted to turn, <clears throat> let's give them a turn. We're gonna start in fifth. Tendu second, plie fourth. Double pirouette, plie, a la seconde, one, two, three. After the fourth one, we're going to do a fourth one. That leg grand des jambes to back attitude. The arms go to fifth, at least a double. Plant the foot behind you. Hombre lunge all around pretty. Oh and finish. Tendu. Plie, pirouette. Don't help her, she's the enemy. She's the competition, what are you thinking? Five, six, seven, and. One, two, three, four, round, and pretty. So Sam is doing one more turn than Tegan is. Who's right and who's wrong? I want everybody out there to watch it again. See what you think, comment below. It was beautiful. But somebody did too many turns. Oh my goodness. You are killing her. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Every day is different. And when you have built in competition with your sister, a twin sister, that only makes you better and better and better and better. And in my studio, I always pitted two kids against each other. Whether it was Mark and Michelle, whether it was Corey and Allie, whether it was Maddie and Chloe. You have to have a rival. Somebody to compete against Definitely. every moment. But right now, she's losing. Big time. We are ready for the leap challenge. In a leap, you're looking for your bell on, how high you're gonna get, how lofty, the takeoff, and the landing. There's no points for who's the loudest. Beautiful. Gorgeous. That looks very familiar. Top that, Tegan. Beautiful technique, landed light as a feather. She really reached into that. I think Sam's gonna get the point. Tegan? Yes. Mm. Zero for originality. That was just a straddle leap. Sam did something that looked very familiar to me. I think it looks familiar to everyone. It's hard to switch your hips around and hit that and you landed it light as a feather. Sam gets I'm a 10. Yeah. She's got a 10 and we're gonna go with a seven. Ooh, okay. Don't get too excited. I'm not. Because <laughs> she's still one up. All right, girls, let's go. Bonus round. This is all about terminology. We are miles and miles apart. Perth, Australia, Los Angeles, California. But the words are in French. Here we go, girls. Oh my God. Ballet round. Jeté, jeté, assemblé, batu, with the beat in it. Changement, changement, Italian changement, susu. Five, six, seven, here we go. And a one, and two, and a three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, hold a tie. <laughs> technique is beautiful, and good technique always carries you through. It's a tie, girls. Okay. Oh. Tegan is still up one. Just one. On scene. Okay. Trick that spots a spotter. That means you stay in one spot. So what I'm looking for is the hand placement to be exactly the same every time they execute the trick. All right, the ending, the shoot through split arch back was fabulous. Sam's up next. She came to win. Her tempo was great, the speed was fabulous, but she moved a little out of the spot. Hmm. This round goes to Sam. Yeah! So, now the girls are tied. The pyramid only has one top, not two. But that bottom row has lots of room on it. Sure does. I'm gonna give them their pick. They can do spotting cartwheels or spotting side aerials. 
socks. I'm sure glad Tegan's taking her socks off because she's about to face plant. Now, if Sam expects to do this correctly, she better get those arms up over her head after each trip. Oh, is incredible. They were great. Sam did them. They were perfect. And her arms were up. Thank goodness. Tegan has this weird delay in her side area. It's as if her arms hit that imaginary bar, you know, at the amusement park, and they pop her higher. So she's in the air and she gets this little extra bounce of elevation, which is beautiful, but for spotters, it doesn't really work. The tie has been broken. <gasps> Sam is back on top. Yeah. All right, it's time for the bonus round. This is the final round. Sam is back on top, but barely. She just got there. And then I have the bonus. The bonus that's gonna blow their minds. This is the wow trick. Let's see if they wow you guys, hmm? Tegan's up. She looks ready. She does a back handspring to her hands, rolls down, like forward rolls down into her shoulders and kips up. I cannot believe that here in Los Angeles, California, in my studio, the ALDC, a young lady just did this incredible cradle. Then she twisted, boom, and landed down. Amazing, that was amazing. I, I'm like gonna cry. <laughs> That's the most difficult trick to do right there. You just did it. And I don't want everybody out there trying that. It's a very difficult trick. It takes a lot of strength and a lot of control. And you have to really know what you're doing. I don't think there's any top in the cradle. Yeah. Yeah. Difficult trick to do. It's rough on the back. You have to have that elevation and you have to have guts. Guts to do it. And what I loved, being an only child, I could hear her sister in the background cheering her on. You've got this, you've got this, you can do it. That's wonderful. That shows you that the Ripka twins are uh, talented, fun, gorgeous, but they're also lovely young ladies. That's great. So the counting. Right now, Sam is up, she's on top, but Tegan just whipped out a cradle. One, two, three times. She rocked that cradle. Mm hmm. You would agree? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Sam, yeah. you did the aerial front walkover spotting. They're good. They're strong. I wasn't afraid you were going to fall on your head. Yeah. I'm afraid right now, we're back to a tie. Oh, so the final round. Tegan, the cradle just yeah, it was good. took you right up there. Back to a tie. So yeah, it's the wins. bonus. This yeah. is the bonus round. Sorry. Whatever Abby says, we have to do. <laughs> I'm scared. I really like you to clean out my car, but. <laughs> Here we go. Final bonus round. We have a handstand competition. So the girls have to balance in a handstand, but they have to do whatever variations I throw at them. Upside down, and there's no talking. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go up. Anybody sweating that's starting to see those drops of sweat hitting the floor. I 
Chin and twist. You went like this. No, okay, four arms are on fire. That's a record, Sam. Usually, Tegan always beats me in a handstand competition, but today I don't know. I had a lot of fire. I was like, no, I cannot lose in front of Abby. <laughs> so I was like, same, same, same. How was that? Let me say that. Two minutes and 25 seconds. Yeah. Holding yeah. it straight is one thing, but I had to go from here, crossing, from here to here to here to up straight to all those variations. But somebody knew their terminology and Sam knew second position. Tegan took it to a big straddle and that is what made her fall. She lost it. Come on over girls. Oh my God, are you okay? I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, you just saw history in the making. Tegan always wins the handstand competitions. Always, without a doubt. She is the handstand competition winner. But not today, not here on my channel at The Real Abby Lee Miller. Sam won the handstand competition. Yeah! Sam is on top of the pyramid. There you have it, there's your winner. No. Let's take a look at the pyramid. And at the top of the pyramid, the reigning national winner, Sam. 